It's a feast for the eyes and ears that doubles as the story of how the UAE was formed through the determination of one man. Zaid and the Dream celebrates the life of the late founder of the UAE, Sheikh Zaid bin Sultan al Nahyan. It's a show filled with special effects and pageantry, with dancers sharing the stage with horses and falcons. You have to make sure not to make any mistakes and to know how to portray it. Uh, but at the same time, we had the freedom to uh, inspire from his life in order to turn it into a theatrical aspect instead of just a, a documentary-style production. The Abu Dhabi Authority for Culture and Heritage approached Lebanon's Karakala dance group to create the project a couple years ago. Zaid and the Dream was the result, and it had its debut in Abu Dhabi in 2008, and has since entertained over 50,000 people in Beirut, London, Paris, and Dubai. Its partly animal cast means that temporary stables have had to be built in some unique places, such as this parking lot in Dubai Media City. And traveling alongside the horses is lots of gear that produces head-turning special effects. We have a lot of projection happening during the show, a lot of special effects in lighting, special effects, uh, people flying uh, over the place. And of course, not to forget the horses and the falcons and the children also taking part in this production. But above all else, this production is about Sheikh Zayed and the personality traits he exhibited to unite his people and form a country. He, he is uh, the man who, uh, who built the spirit, the spirit of the Emirates people be before the buildings, before the roads, before everything. This Dubai leg of the musical is the end of the current tour. But plans are underway to take Zaid and the Dream to other locations next year, entertaining new audiences and helping them discover how Sheikh Zaid turned his dream into reality. Usama Taha, Inside the National.